Hey everyone. Hi. I'm Mackenzie. I'm Kyle. And this is Standing Out. Where we My watch... Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Yeah, yeah. we watched that exactly. Yeah. And just so you guys know, Kyle is seeing it for the very first time. I have seen this a few times over, but I love extra help and tips and tricks. So put them in the comments down below. I think you guys know what time it is. Kyle, I'm yes. not allowed to say anything about this episode. I can't. When you want to say things about an episode, but you just can't because uh, no spoilers. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it, it's fun when you're like, let's let's not talk about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't tell you if it's good. Can't tell you if it's bad. Can't tell you if it's hated. Can't tell you if it's loved. We'll just have to watch and find out, shall we? Let's shall. Let's shall. <laughs> Two, three, four. Where is the darn thing? I love Granny Smith. Remember to label these boxes. Big Mac, be a deer and help me move. Hey, maybe it's in that one on the bottom. Big strong boy. Oh, dead nibble, it's not in there either. Oh, what a looky here! My, how Apple Bloom used to love watching mm -hmm. make that thing fly. It's like she thought she was magic. Ah, right, enough reminiscing. Gotta find that ribbon. If you would just help me pooch. Then maybe I can... Max it! Eh, uh, Big Mac? No! <laughs> Did you want something? Uh, yep. Hold that thought. Applejack, you are the most awesome sister ever. Oh, gee whiz. <laughs> well, I think it's sweet that you hold that opinion, but... It's not opinion. It's objective fact. You saved Equestria like a gazillion times. You're smart, funny, strong. Why, you're the best sister of all time. Probably the best apple of all time. Right, Big Mac? Yep. And with you by my side, I am guaranteed to taste sweet. I really want to partake in a festival like this now. Uh, Apple Bloom, I think Big Mac's got something he wants to show you. Oh, hey. Is that the toy we used to play with when I was little? Yep. Neat. All right, then. Let's get back to Granny's. <laughs> hey, Big Mac. You all right? Yep. Uh-huh. You, sure? you seemed a little down back there. Nope. Come on, you can tell me. You feeling a little left out? Apple Bloom and I have been spending a lot of time together getting ready for the social. <gasps> what in the? Your cutie mark! You're being so adept, Jack! This is so cool! Yup. Wonder what you're being called to. Wonder what you're supposed to do when you get there. Obviously, it is something awesome because you're awesome. But, but if you're being summoned to solve a friendship problem, that means you'll have to miss the sisterhood social. And if you have to miss the social, then I'll have to miss the social. Which means I won't be able to taste sweet, sweet victory. <laughs> now calm down. Let me just go over to Twilight's castle and see what's what. Maybe it's just a false alarm. But you said it was a false alarm. She said maybe. Said maybe it's a false alarm. <laughs> well, it's not. Rarity and I have to go to Main Hat. I knew it wouldn't be. You that? <gasps> oh, that's amazing. No can do, Sugar Cube. When duty calls, I gotta answer right away. What kind of an example would I be setting for my little sister if I didn't? This can't be happening! Your extreme awesomeness is backfiring on me! Hey, Apple Bloom, the social is gonna start in a few hours. Thought you might want to go with us. Since Rarity and Applejack are out of town, you and Sweetie Belle can cheer on me and Rainbow Dash instead. Pretty great they're letting you participate even though you're not technically sisters. 
Yeah, social's always had a pretty loose definition of a customer to the sister. As long as you share a bond that represents the spirit of the social, you're in. So, what do you say? You coming? Why not? Got nothing better to do. Let me wash up and I'll meet you in a little bit. It's not anyone's fault. Oh, such a shame we don't live closer to all your second cousins. You could maybe do the social with one of them instead. What is it, Big Mac? Y'all got an idea? <laughs> yep. What? What is it? Hey, there you are. You ready to cheer on me and Rainbow Dash to victory? Uh, not exactly. Seems I'm gonna get to participate after all. Applejack is back from Manhattan already? That must mean Rarity is back too! No, our sisters are still gone. But it, uh, turns out my long-lost cousin Orchard Blossom was able to make it last minute. <laughs> Your cousin who what now? Well. I do declare it's part of the day the I should the have seen this coming. <laughs> I am so delighted to meet your little friends, Apple Blue. Would these be your dear and beloved cutie mark crusaders? It's the most he's ever spoken. <laughs> Cousin Orchard Blossom. It is my extraordinary pleasure to make your acquaintance. He does very well with hair and makeup, That's though. I give him that. Big Mac. Why, it's Big Mac in a dress. I'm charmed as I am that you find me in the slightest resemblance to such a, a, a handsome fine and noble product of oh. the Apple Clan. I'm astonished in equal measure. However, I shall take this startling observation under advisement, given that it's from such an astute and perceptive filly as yourself, sweetie Belle. It's weird to hear him talk this much. To say, Cousin Orchard Blossom, I've been told before I'm pretty observant. Not <laughs> the slightest doubt. Pardon me! My dearest cousin Applejack is regrettably unable to be here as planned, so I, her cousin Orchard Blossom, will accompany Apple Bloom in her stead. Why, you must be Rainbow Dash, your Scootaloo's. How are y'all related again? Hmm. Why don't I just let you finish citing it? Don't think me and Scootaloo are gonna take it easy on you just because you're a stallion. All right, Scootaloo. Remember the parts where teamwork really comes into play. How could I forget? We've been training all week. Okay, hot stuff. What's our move on the Great Squish? The alley -oop. Apple Toss, Flip Flop, Egg Carry, Flutter Bomb. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, June bug. It's like you've never carried an egg before. I'm going as fast as I can. <gasps> Don't crack. <laughs> Scoop. <laughs> Say disqualified because you were carrying her. And Spike. <laughs> or not. <laughs> I mean, um, <clears throat> victory is ours, sweet apple bloom. <clears throat> nope, it uh -oh. is not. Uh oh, indeed. Disqualified. I should have known you'd eventually get busted for being a stallion. Oh no, we've known all along. The Sisterhood Social has always had a loose policy when it comes to what counts as a sister. Uh huh. But we do have a strict policy when it comes to sports ponyship. In your sister's desperation to win, he used brute strength to physically take out the competitors. Oh, that kind of behavior is not just unbecoming of a lady, but quite frankly, of any pony. And for that, you two are hereby disqualified. disqualified. Oh. Looks like we win, Squirt. 
I should have just waited until the next social to win with Applejack. Mm. You know I'm not mad, right? You're not? I mean, let's face it. You dressing up as my cousin Orchard Blossom was a pretty crazy idea in the first place. Yep. And it's not like you got me disqualified from the social forever or anything. I can participate next time with Applejack. Everything's fine. I just don't understand why you went so crazy there at the end of the race. I mean, I know you like to win and all, but you want to tell me what's going on? Nope. All right. No. Oh, it's getting late. You coming? Nope. Okay. See you later, I guess. Apple Bloom? Yeah? When you were little, you used to look up to me. Thought I was the best thing since Zap Apple Jam. Hmm. Things are different now. Applejack's the hero of the Apple family. He was rushing off to save Equestria. And I'm just here on the farm. Hmm. Doing chores, helping out the way I can. Nothing special. Nobody's hero. I guess I just thought... Oh, never mind. Here I am about to start blabbering on about my feelings. You don't want to hear all this. Yes, I do. I love this. I guess I just thought if I could fill in for Applejack mm -hmm. at the social and get you a blue ribbon, well, I could be some pony you looked up to again. Uh -huh. be your hero again. Even if it was for just a day. It was foolish, and I'm ashamed. Please, I just want to be alone right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, too bad, you big goof. Because I'm not going anywhere. I know that you're always going to be here when I need you. Heck, you'll do a whole obstacle course in high heels if you think it'll help me get something I want. You're my big brother. You've always been a hero to me, Big Mac, and you always will be. I'm real sorry I haven't been letting you know that's how I feel. Guess both of us have been holding back when it comes to expressing ourselves, huh? Yep. Be there in a bit. I'm spending some quality time with my big brother. Hey, Big Mac. Yup. How do you think Cousin Orchard Blossom would describe this sunset? <laughs> Why, dear, I do declare this is the most <laughs> beautiful sunset my eyes have ever looked upon. Though sitting here on these tree roots is a trifle uncomfortable for my hindquarters. <laughs> I got a little weepy eyed there because I can directly relate being a older sibling to only sisters because I've only had older brothers and younger sisters I can relate in the in the like wanting to have a connection with you know your younger siblings and the fact that because there is a, a difference of gender, there's there's often this like, oh no, 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 not you. You're 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 and so being the younger sibling, or like the youngest brother, and yet only having younger sisters, I can tell you it's it's very challenging when you're trying to have a relationship. And it's not that it it's like I don't it's I, I definitely have a relationship, but I will never have the relationship with my sisters, either one of them that they have with each other. Like I can't ever. And so like I always want to look out for them. I always want to be that role for them. And so my I'm not now I'm going to sound like a whiny little brat here, but having older brothers who only wanted to spend time with each other because I was too young for them and then having younger sisters who only want to spend time with themselves because they're both girls it end up you know i f i feel that sadness of him trying to just have some significance and so yeah i got a little weepy i actually held it back pretty well because i think i was a little more weepy inside than i even let it out but yeah that's so sweet what a what a sweet little thing there at the end and he's just like you know what it's fine it was dumb i'll just leave i just want to be left alone and then she like being so evolved that she is at this point i feel like she's earned a cutie mark of some sort but she's like well tough because i'm not going anywhere you big 
I don't know what she said, galoo or whatever. Um, but yeah, no, he just, he, especially when you have a sister who's not necessarily older, but uh, you know, older than the youngest sister and she's like such a legend and you just kind of feel like so insecure and inferior and you just don't feel like you have any significance. And <sighs> Big Mac doesn't say a lot, you know, but he feels things. <laughs> And he just kind of keeps them mostly to himself. And in this episode, he exposed a little bit of that. And that just made me a little weepy eyed. Yeah, it certainly fleshes out the character as a character even more. Yeah. We, we know he's been there. He's been strong. He's the dependable one that we can all rely on. But, like, he's got feelings, too. And just because he says, yep, and nope all the time, we don't get to hear him. And that he, like, actually expels this is just really touching. Really, really touching. I've been there with my cousin. I used to be her favorite person in the world and she grew up. She We don't see each other as much and so that just it slowly faded away and you yeah. also feel like oh, well I really wish I could have that back. It's nice to like be somebody's hero and stuff. So having that fade, it, it happens. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's just like hmm. so relating with Big Mac and hearing Big Mac actually speak and having long winded conversations and being a goof during the same time, Brotherhood Social. So, yeah, that's fun. I like that everybody knew, and it wasn't just like one of those standards of like, oh, we can't tell. Everybody's like, that's Big Mac in a dress. <laughs> Sorry, I, I talked over the best line. Oh, I know. Yeah, every right. single person, every single pony there was more than aware of it, except for the one judge. Yeah. <laughs> or the ticket guy, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it was good. It's a good episode. And I love, I love whenever this show does this where they. Well, they'll, they'll have another episode happening at the exact same time as this. Yeah. It's just so fun. Yeah. And to like go back and you're like, oh my God, yeah, of course I remember. That's so weird. How cool. Yeah. This show's been doing that, I think, for at least the last two seasons, and it's great when they do it. It's a lot of fun. But Fleshing out the world, not just our main characters, but all of them. Yeah, and showing all these things are happening all around the same time, which really does help flesh out the world because it's like you know it's an active world that they live in so there's lots like the world doesn't stop just because our main ponies are off doing some adventure like it continues on and you know this is what's happening at the same time yeah i love it my one question is why didn't they have sweetie bell and apple bloom team up if sisters don't really matter i thought the same thing i was like yeah unless you have to only have someone of a certain age who can compete with the younger one maybe perhaps. yeah perhaps yeah, but you would. That's that's the first thing I thought was like, why don't you two just go together? Yeah, team up, team up. You You're know? basically sisters anyway. So it's like having us, like when you go stag at a dance or whatever, or whatever you call it. I don't know. I've always been, I've always called it stag, or I've been told, and I don't know if it's because I'm male. Anyway, your point is, it's when you go by yourself, and then you're like, oh wait, I don't have anyone to go with. I'll just go with my friend, because they're also not going with anyone. Makes yeah. perfect sense to me. Yeah. Why yeah. not? Why not? It was a really good episode. It was. It was really touching and sweet. And interestingly, very little to do with the main ponies. Mm -hmm. And I love that. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of, not quite to this level, but it was. it's kind of like how that one episode where they show everyone except for the main ponies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it, though. I, and I never thought we'd get this much dialogue from Big Mac, and I'm, and I'm grateful that we did. It was very, very touching and sweet and beautiful. I loved it Th with the sunset and everything. Do you ever think we'll see Orchard Blossom again? Yep, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> In the meantime, everybody, thanks so much for fanning out with us. Fans out.